Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and today we are unboxing Century Golem Edition Unknown Eastern Mountains. Now this is the second of the trilogy, and this is the Japanese edition. Uh, that said, I don't believe that Arclight has printed uh, the third in the trilogy. So uh, I did buy this at the same time that I bought Century Golem Edition. Uh, looking at the price today, this thing is close to 50 bucks. That is not what I paid. Um, this was, in fact, an impulse buy. Uh, the only game I had played was Century Golem Edition. I picked this up because uh, the price was about the same, so about 30 about $35, $36. So uh, this was totally an impulse buy, and I have yet to play this game, uh, so I don't really know what it's about. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we've got. Uh, first of all, we've got a rule sheet. Uh, the game actually comes with two rule sheet. This first one that I'm looking at actually shows how to combine the... Uh, original game uh, with this one and the second one there on the right um, is just this game by itself so uh, that's interesting to me that you actually get two games in one that's kind of cool so I imagine though that there are lots of similarities and now this was kind of an exciting find punch boards I love punch boards so uh, it's kind of a therapy all by itself so we'll go ahead and get these open and get to punching all right, so uh, that said, uh, there are not a ton of punch boards on here, but I do know that uh, there are these tiles uh, right here that we're supposed to be navigating around, so I do tend to like games that do that, so uh, very cool. Uh, first of all, uh, these are uh, bonus uh, punch boards, have to do with something uh, with the uh, player guides in there, that X uh, is some kind of closed port or something. Um, at least it's closed port in the um, uh, original uh, incarnation of the game. Right here it might be called a closed market or something. Anyway, something is closed. So enjoy that quick punch right there. <laughs> All right, very cool. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got victory point, and I'm assuming these are the harvest. So so farms there for harvesting. Now these uh, victory point tokens. Um, I've heard them called Golem tokens as well. I think these are supposed to represent uh, the Golem cards. And I don't know if the actual combinations of numbers and uh, crystals there match the Golem cards themselves. Uh, that's definitely something to check out. Over here, uh, we've got the Village uh, and the Harvest. So Harvest again. So uh, with a couple more Golem tokens right there. So uh, four of those Village tiles. I'm not quite sure what goes on in the Village. I'm not quite sure what goes on in the harvest either, uh, but we've got those two. Now here uh, are the mine tiles, and the majority of the tiles are these mine tiles. And as you can see, they've got um, a couple more golems on here too, but uh, each one of the tiles represents one of the colors it looks like, uh, whether it's the pink or the blue or the yellow or the green. Um, so yeah, not really sure... Um, it looks like, uh, having played the original, that each of these uh, mine tiles has a, an exchange. Uh, so it has the kind of the cards built in um, if you have played the original. So, uh, for example, as we take a look at this next one, top left corner, switch a blue to get two green. All right, so uh, kind of interesting, um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. As you can see, the art looks like um, it is a little bit different, but I think, uh, yeah, there are definitely some repeats. Um, I have seen this game played on a playmat, and uh, here in Japan, I have never seen the playmats for either the original Century Golem game nor this one, uh, but the playmats definitely seem a bit busy to me, so <laughs> I don't know that I'd actually pick those up anyway. Here are the player boards, and oh, those are different. Huh. Okay, I got a bit, little bit of Golem art on the right side, and, and uh, oh, I see, I get it. Okay, so one side is probably probably the uh, easy side, one side's the more advanced side, maybe. Not really sure which which, and oh, this one has a little crystal in the corner, much like that one wagon card did in the original. Maybe that's the special first person, first player token uh, or something. Uh, we've got crystals. Now, this is kind of a surprise. So, uh, the original came with these crystals as well. Looks like the exact same ones, exact same size. I don't know if it's the same numbers. 
In the original, there were little plastic risers, so uh, these were not jam-packed. I haven't actually pawed through these, um, except for this time I did unbox it. So I'm assuming uh, that they've done the same thing here. Uh, looks like we've got some wooden tokens as well, so this is kind of a surprise. Interesting choice of colors. Uh, we've got some wagons here. Uh, I do know that in the original Century Spice uh, version of this, th there were boats. Um, I think that'd be kind of pretty um, if we had like islands. Um, but this land-based one, eh, it seems fine. Although the wagons kind of look like milk bones to me. Uh, <laughs> moving on though, uh, these are little house tokens. And these are supposed to be trading posts. And uh, I don't know how that works. I'm assuming we are the wagons and we are moving around. Um, and it looks like we'll, we'll be establishing uh, trading posts. Um, how that exactly works, I do not know. I haven't really read the rules uh, beyond uh, what are the names of the components and uh, uh, having a basic idea of what's going on. So, um, yeah, I am uh, looking forward to seeing how that goes. Now, this is actually kind of a weird one. So it's the unpainted brown wood. So I don't know how I feel about that, uh, <laughs> considering... The other choices are colors, huh? Now we do have an insert here. I am, as as if you've watched my channel, you know I'm not a fan of inserts. Uh, in this case, uh, this will this would hold uh, these hex tiles pretty easily, and in my experience, this actually tends to be good um, if there are weird hex tiles like this and uh, the tray will hold it. But um, and in this case, there are no cards or anything. Um, so maybe for now, uh, I'll keep this, but I already know that, um, the container there that holds the crystals, uh, really isn't that great. Uh, probably with the tiles here and, uh, the crystals sitting on top, it might be fine and, uh, wouldn't shift around, but, um, I made myself, <laughs> I gave, gave myself a little job by mixing all of the uh, trading posts there, but, uh, I really do like to separate all of the player's stuff into individual baggies. And in this case, it would be the trading posts, uh, the wagons, and I'd uh, give each one of them one of the uh, player boards as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll take the tray and cut it up. Uh, who knows? I'm a big believer in baggies. Anyway, uh, that does wrap up another one here. Uh, again, I picked this up a while ago and got it for a much better price than the most recent, but uh, we'll see if they release the third. Thanks a lot.